in my 20s, I have been donating my hair every like, three to three and a half years. And so since I'm no longer in my 20s, I decided that this is going to be my last time. And after this, my hair is going to be fully mine. <laughs> Hey there, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Brittany with Bits of Brit Leveling Up. I do post new videos every Tuesday about my journey with my physical, mental, financial, and spiritual health. Today's video is going to be my journey with donating my hair. So, let me show ya. My hair is all the way down to probably my belly button here. From the side, fairly all the way down. Yeah. So with my hair, I don't know really how long it is, but I did get a roller. So this is probably the worst way to do it, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe like this much from the bottom. I don't know, what, what is that? About an inch and a half from the bottom. So, Right there is 12 inches. And then if we add a few more to that, so this is gonna be 15 inches. So I want at least 15 inches gone. Um, the minimum is 12 inches. So I'll go ahead and insert some stuff right over here with what the requirements are. I'm doing wigs for kids this time. Um, I think that's who I did last time but as you can see it's pretty long so it's not gonna be that bad so with cutting my hair it's gonna probably end up being to here maybe a little bit longer but I'm super nervous so as you can tell I'm like chattering away for no apparent reason the hair is still a little bit wet but I wanted to come on and kind of do a quick little video of before I know I'm not looking at the, the camera part not bad not bad I'm nervous. I'm excited. I, okay, before I get too weird and nervous about this, um, sorry, let me close these. Okay, kind of bright. Um, I have, in my 20s, I have been donating my hair every like, three to three and a half years. And so since I'm no longer in my 20s, I decided that this is going to be my last time. And after this, my hair is going to be fully mine. And I'm you know, if I decide to donate it again in the future, that's fine, but I'm not going to dedicate my hair to doing my donations for it. So that's exciting. Um, I will end up probably donating for yearly for a dollar amount since I'm not going to be donating my hair because I feel bad. But yeah. Okay. I'm going to go. My appointment's soon and I need to finish blow drying my hair. So let's see what happens after. She just text me and so that she got done early so I can come whenever. McKenna here with Miss T's Salon uh, over off the 45th parallel in the same Kaiser area. But what she's doing here is just rubber banding my hair so that she's going to cut it up above those rubber bands. She's going to go through and braid it also just so that she can try to keep as much hair together as possible for my donations. And then, um, kind of funny, I was nervous to ask her if I could do a hyperlapse, but she was all for it. And then there it goes. My hair is gone. And just like that, I for sure thought I was going to cry, but it was refreshing and freeing. Um, she did wash my hair and now she, what she's going to do is just kind of trim it up and um, shape it up to my face. I, I wasn't quite sure how many layers I wanted so she did end up blow drying it a little bit just so I can kind of get a feel for it and um, added some more shape to around my face as well as more layers which I'm so thankful she did. Like she was so sweet. She asked me you know each time like if if I was sure if this is what I wanted, just like reassurance, she is the best. Um, but as you can see here, she's just going to blow dry it and then do some cute little beach wave curlies with her hair straightener. And it turned out perfect. I could not be more happy with it. I'm back. I got my hair cut, donated. My braids are downstairs. I will go ahead and insert a clip or a video or something. Um, I love it. She like layered a little bit so it looks like I have some bangs. Just a tiny bit. I love it. Like I teared up this time but I didn't cry. Like I didn't actually cry. I don't like it like that. That's kind of weird. I don't know. Not exciting. But yeah, 
So this is after, and then I will go ahead and let you know what I have to do in order to ship it out. This here are, is my hair, obviously, for the donations. I am marking it at the 15, or the rubber band mark, and it does go all the way down to about 15 inches. Obviously, they'll have to trim some off, so it'll be about 14 inches, I'm assuming. Um, and then when I went ahead and registered online, it did give me a code and um, a number and a code, but obviously when I email sent over, it didn't go out right. And then this is where I'm gonna end up sending it over to with this attached. So let me go ahead and package it really quick. I did put it in a plastic bag. I did wrap this part of the hair in um, a paper towel thing just so that it can keep the hair together a little bit better. I put my number on there and then I'm going to tape this on there and then I'm going to put it in a bubble wrap thing. Okay, so I have it all packaged. To take it to FedEx. Last clip of my hair before it gets sent off. I will go ahead and include a list and a link down below for the hair donation process. I do appreciate you being here and supporting my journey. If you do like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I do post new videos every Tuesday, so I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!